never away from the river. And I just, this was my playground. Every inch of the river. They say I learnt to row before I learnt to walk, you know. I don't believe that, but I never know. That, that could cost somebody their life if the life belt's not there, you know. Every position where there's a life belt must be painted yellow. And it's also got a notice beside it that gives you a number, positioning by satellite, GPS, so that if an accident occurs at that spot, they know exactly where they're going, you know. Excuse me, see that light bill I just threw up? Any chance of hanging it on the yellow fence for me, kind sir? Can you reach it all right? That's very kind of you. You might save a life. The public are always only too willing to help you. It's amazing how much they help you. at the start. We're here! Doing an incredible amount of prevention work using the knowledge of what has caused accidents over the last 220 odd years. When I got my silver medal from Royal Humane Society in London, they said I had saved over 1,500 people, which is a lot of people. I was quite surprised. Sorry. When you're out working, you're going to arrest yourself. And once you make a decision, don't turn back on it. You go for it. So the same in life. You decide on one way of action. You don't jump around and go from job to job and never, never be satisfied. And that's what I've done and no real regrets. But my father didn't really want me to do the job because you didn't really have any other form of life. I mean, he, he was here for 61 years. And in that 61 years, he never went on holiday. He didn't want us to come walking the river, no. I'd applied for art school. I just fancied sculpture. At the same time, I was helping my dad. Then when my father died, I just come down the river full time. All of these there are just parts of supermarket trolleys, you know? You cut them off and old bikes from the river bank and you just collect stuff. Some of the wood comes out the river for the bases, you know. The river's good to me. Aye. I'm living here, I'm living in a lifeboat station. I couldn't come home tonight having had a good swally, a good drink, good baby. As long as you're living in the lifeboat station, you've got to be able to answer. None of them can beat me yet in the lifeboats. I mean, they might beat me next week, anything can harm. None of us know what's ahead, do we? Afternoon, gentlemen. Are you racing? <laughs> Nobody to race me. Do you want to challenge me? Oh, do you want to? I'll start at the 250, you start at the 500 metre mark, and we'll see who gets to the wheel. <laughs> so lovely and peaceful on the river, isn't it? If things have gone wrong and you're feeling a bit down, you just come out for a row in the river and you realise how lucky you are, how peaceful it is. The day that I'm not physically able to do it, I'll be the first person to walk out the door, yes. But God's been good to me so far and I'm still all right. Getting a bit a bit less mobile in the legs, but I can still run around the boats better than most, you know, so I'll be the first to admit it. I'll take a back seat, go and do the boot work. And how do you feel about that prospect? No, oh, it's life. Just got to do it. Huh? As long as I can, I just keep working away at it. Right?